Yeah, one more match to play here uh, this evening. And for that, we introduce England's Tony O'Shea and Canada's David Cameron. Excalibur takes on Silverback. Hey, man. Some kind of big budget m movie for that one. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've both had some fun and games here. Some good games with Joe Chaney, the draws and wins over Tina Osborne. So a bit of a final between you two, your own little final. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to it. Like I say, Tony's just a, a class guy, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while since I've been in a final, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually lose in them, so <laughs> I am looking forward to it, though. All the best, brother. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, well, let's get the game on. We're looking forward to it as well, and we can have a little talk once the match is over. But we'll let you two, you two get, get warmed up. up. All, the, all the best. All the best, baby. All the best, baby. Yes, well, as I've mentioned, both of these players have already had 5-5 five, five draws versus Joe Chaney. They've both also had 6-1 victories over Tina Osborne. So dead level as far as tonight is concerned. Uh, once this match is complete, we'll have a look at the complete remote darts league table with all 16 players to see how it all fits in. But for now, the focus is on Tony O'Shea versus David Cameron. When both players are ready, it's going to be Tony that throws first. I'm happy after these three, Rich. Yep, three more for Tony. I'm ready. David's standing by patiently. I'm ready now, mate. Oh, okay. All good. So, the first leg, it's Tony to throw first. Game on. One forty. One forty. One forty. One hundred. Five. Tony, you require eighty. Forty. David, you require ninety-six. Forty-eight. Tony, you require forty. Game in one. Yes, the first leg, Tony O'Shea. Second, Second leg, David, David to throw first. Forty-one. One, two, three. One hundred. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred. 
140. Tony, you require 78. 38. David, you require 120. 82. Tony, you require 40. David, you require 38. 8 for 6, double 16, and finds it for the second leg, David Cameron. Third leg, Tony to throw first. One forty. One forty. Ninety-seven. Ninety-five. Tony, you require one hundred and sixty-four. Sixty-nine. Sixty. Tony, you require 95. 55. David, you require 164. 41. Tony, you require 40. Give me two. Well, follows the bounce out with the double top. It's the third leg, Tony O'Shea. Fourth leg, David to throw first. One hundred. Forty. Three nine, seventy five, ninety four. David, you require one hundred and forty five. Tony, you require 128. 88. David, you require 100. 60. Tony, you require 40.
Jenny two. Again, finds the double top for the fourth leg, Tony O'Shea. Fifth leg, Tony to throw first. One three nine. Forty. One hundred. One eighty. The yeah, first of the match, David Cameron. Fifty nine. One forty. Ninety nine. David, you require 141. 80 and... Oh, it's 45. Uh, 88. David, you require 16. First third. Yeah, good setup from David. Unlucky to Tony. Double eight for David. Fifth leg. On the sixth leg, it's David to throw first. Eighty one. One three five. Fifty. One hundred. One hundred. One forty. Eighty-three. Tony, so you require forty-one. That's just in that last one. That's forty-one in three, Rich. Yes, finds the double eight for the sixth leg. Tony O'Shea, and seventh leg it's Tony to throw first. Forty one. One hundred. One hundred. Eighty 
130. David, you require 160. Tony, you require 52. Came in two. Yes, the seventh leg, Tony O'Shea. Eighth leg, David, to throw first. David, you require 98. Tony, you require 96. Game in two. Yes, game shot and the match. Tony O'Shea. Lovely 96. Two dart finish <clears throat> to end the match there. Great job, Tom. Cheers, there, everybody. Good game, mate. Great game of darts. Yeah, congratulations, Tony. I mean, let's uh, go back to the start of your evening. Five nil down to Joe Cheney. You've walked away with five points this evening. Yeah, from from sort of twenty past nine onwards, it's been quite good to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously uh, early on, I, d I just tried sticking in. I, I thought I lost the first one, but since then, it's it's worked brilliant, and uh, I'm really pleased with tonight. Uh, I think it's uh, five points. So well done for that, uh, David. Um... Obviously, we can't see too much of you in the match, but we can hear you, and you didn't sound your light, bubbly self for that last game. Uh, a bit tricky there, a bit warm. Yeah, it is, actually, but I say there's no excuse. I'll never use that as an excuse or anything. I just I just couldn't find it. Uh, you're every dart, though, you want to, you know, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, but I didn't give up. I just couldn't. They just weren't going in sometimes. Hey, that happens, right? But I'll be back. Absolutely, and uh, we'll have a look at exactly when you're both back. You're both with us early next week. Tony, Monday for you, uh, your namesake there, John O'Shea's in the mix. Larry Butler and Laura Turner should be a fun evening. Yeah, uh, for some reason, John keeps calling me uh, his father. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'm only about two years older than him, to be honest, so... <laughs> But, uh, but we play along with it. I, I love John O'Shea to death. I mean, I've known him a long, long time, as we all have. We've all known each other forever, like. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of banter with, with Mr O'Shea. Well, uh, well, if you're father, I don't know what that makes Larry Butler. Uh, old father time. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still and, uh, playing some good darts, so... Uh, there's hope for us all. There's hope for us all. <laughs> and David, we see you 24 hours after that. Uh, you're back to take on Lorraine Wynn Stanley, 
Paul Hogan and Richard Venstra. So everywhere you look, there's great games. Yeah, like I said, I'll be, I'll be ready for sure. It doesn't get any easier, does it? <laughs> hey, you know what? You need a push. And I always tell people you need someone yeah. to push a little bit. And it'll make you shoot better. And uh, you know what? Sometimes you have a little few bad moments, like everybody does. But uh, to me, the key is just not to let it bother you. You got to forget it, put it behind you, and go on to the next one. Yeah, well, you two have both shown us how to do that. Uh, thanks for your company, guys. Always great to speak to you and watching you play. Uh, Tony O'Shea, well done with the win. Cheers, David mate. Cameron will be back. And we're going to have a look at how all of those uh, results go into our main league table. Brilliant night for Tony O'Shea, as I say, picking up five points this evening. Uh, there are your full set of results. You can take it from the top, as I've mentioned. The, the drama in that first game. Joe Chaney, 5-0 up. Tony, back to 5-5 for the draw. We saw a win for David Cameron over Tina Osborne. Then he fought out a draw against Joe Chaney. Uh, Tony O'Shea, banging form against Tina Osborne, a 6-1 winner. Joe Chaney finally got that win on the board after two draws, winning the 10th leg against a spirited Tina Osborne. Some great finishes from Tina in that game. And we've just seen a great performance from Tony O'Shea to end the night with a 6-2 win over David Cameron. So our computer's going to scramble all of those results into the league table. And we're going to take a look at how things stand. As I've mentioned before, Paul Hogan, absolutely terrific, unbeaten. He's top of the league there. Justin Thompson still just behind. The points that Joe Chaney's picked up this evening, four of them, that's put him into third place after his nine games. You can see James Richardson still there. But he's only played six, one five, drawn one. He's on 11 points. And then right on their heels, two guys that have had a good night tonight. David Cameron on equal 11 points with James. And Tony O'Shea now up to sixth place, level with Larry Butler. So we really look forward to when play resumes. Uh, just a little reminder for everybody, we're going to take a one-day break. We've reached the halfway point as far as league matches are concerned. We've played 10 nights. We're going to play another further 10 nights, skipping tomorrow. So we are back Friday 29th for our 11th GeoCompliant Remote Darts League night. And remember, all eyes are on the finals that take place on Monday the 8th of June. So from everybody involved here at the Remote Darts League, we wish you a very good evening. Enjoy your day off and make sure you're all back with us 9pm UK time on Friday. We're signing off with a high ho.